Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while. I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of weddings. Uh, so <laughs> it's been it's been a lo long, long time. I know I get it. Um, but I definitely wanted to bring up to you guys up to date with three features that are actually I'm very excited about for this camera um, that I used to own, but I don't longer own it. Uh, it's for the R5C. Um, Canon Asia just put out a video um, about it and about the features that it actually comes with when this new firmware update, the, the, the more improved features that actually were lacking on when the R5C came out and it, well, not lacking, more of an improvement actually. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about three things out of this firmware update that I think they, that these improvements will help this camera out um, from where it used to be when, and where it is now. And I think that these improvements could have come at, a, at an earlier time, not just later. And so let's talk about that first one. First one is going to be like reduces the time between video and photo mode. Now for me, it was like, okay, yeah, I, I actually don't use photo a lot. I'm glad that there's that feature on there. And I just basically do a lot of filming. I film a lot of weddings. And so that never came into play for me to do something like that. But I played around with it and it kind of definitely lagged a lot of time from switching from photo to video. However, on this one, it explains that it reduces the switching time between photo and video mode. So 40% faster from photo to video and 70% faster from video to photo. So with that being said, I know there's been out there, I've seen a couple of clips where it actually shows the kind of speed comparison. And yeah, it's 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 a lot quicker for sure. And I could I could say that the amount of time between you switching to photo and video, it's gonna be really good when it comes to hybrid shooters because this camera has that potential of being an amazing hybrid and you know amazing than what it is already. So let's talk about that second feature, which is power saving mode. We all know that R5C has horrible battery life, horrible. And I experienced that a lot. And so I used to have a power adapter plugged into the my R5C when I was filming a wedding. And yeah, I needed that because no way will I change one, two, three, four, five batteries, you know, on a single wedding, which that usually will happen with just the R5C, even with a battery grip on it, it still gives, you know, you still won't have that much to, um, film because you're going to have to switch that. So, uh, having that power supply, uh, that I always had with, with the R5C at that time, it was, it was very helpful, but I know that it was just more clunkier. It was more heavier. So, According to this mode, the power saving mode, it extends 4K recording by 30%. It does also state though, that some functions will be restricted, which we don't know specifically what kind of functions there are specifically. Again, I don't know if 4K 60 has some sort of a restricted about that or what, but I know a lot of filmmakers use a lot of 4K 60 to get those slow-mo shots. Um, 4k 24 during ceremony so i i don't i don't know what's gonna happen in that realm um but i know it's by 30 percent. i wish they could extend a little bit more <laughs> to like 50 percent. that would be that would be great but again we will have to see those tests uh being done in order to understand how much of an improvement it, this firmware update will make and third but not least my other favorite feature about this firmware update for the r5c is the autofocus performance improvements. Um, and it's, so it says here that as a variable tracking frame, so you have an object, it'll basically track it. And one of the features that I've learned that when it comes to autofocus improvements, it's basically the face detection. So right now I'm filming on the R7 actually. Uh, and I have my R6 Mark II as well that they both do amazing in auto tracking. So, but when it comes to like, for example, a person, right? Sometimes, uh, let's say a first look or a, a first look, meaning that when a uh, groom is about to see her bride for the first time, 
Of course, when we position that groom, we don't, we don't see the front of his face. Obviously, we just see the back of his head, right? Because we're still waiting for that reaction to happen. Um, and so I was always afraid of that. I was always afraid of not capturing the actual focus on his face. Um, when he turns around, because I think that the auto the autofocus on on these cameras would just focus somewhere else right away, and not on the group's reaction. So that's one of the things that I felt like I it, it didn't give me that confidence. But now it has this feature, what is called enable to detect a subject's head, even when looking backwards. So that thing that's going to give us definitely that that turnaround look, right? And then you have seen the groom see his bride for the first time, but then not lose focus on that. And I think that's very crucial. Um, of course, some people shoot in manual mode, right? But we're just talking here about the autofocus performance um, of this camera. So that's, that's good to know. I mean, there are people walking away from the camera. Maybe they're, maybe you're recording a short film or short clip and you're just walking right behind them. And it just keeps focus on the back of their heads, which is great. And, and I think that's really good. You know, there's different scenarios for different purposes that you're going to use this camera for. But I think that the, that these uh, firmware updates will definitely improve the R5C. By how much improvement, I don't know. I have no idea. But I know that I keep hearing about this kind of firmware update coming to the C70 as well. Um, so C70 with autofocus improvements it's gonna be you know it, it's gonna be a plus because i know c70 it, it has an okay performance but i know that with a firmware update that's coming for that will also um be a huge you know huge update uh, when it comes to autofocusing and with that being said that that is a wrap for my three top uh features that are our improvements that are coming to this firmware update for the r5c uh no, there is a lot more uh, that I didn't touch basis on this firmware update. And I'll definitely link uh, all that information down below. Uh, and I'll link into uh, Canon Asia's uh, YouTube channel as well. So you can watch that as well. And yeah. And so that being said, I will definitely keep you posted. I will post now. I got more time. So I will post more videos coming along. Um, you know, so I have the mavic 3 pro i definitely want to talk about guys i definitely want to talk about that um and what i've been doing lately so yeah stay tuned for that and we'll catch you guys on the next one take care